Good evening, I'm Gary Sieber and welcome to Ask an Expert, the program where you can call in, ask a question, and get some help, get some answers. Tonight, we'll be talking about gadgets, gizmos, and other great gift ideas just in time for the holidays. What's the difference between an iPod and an iPad? Well, most of us know that, but many may not. How many gigs do I need for a new phone? Our experts, shown here, David Vigiano, a media consultant with Alpatac Marketing Communications, will tackle these and any other difficult questions that you might have based on your phone calls and emails. David, welcome to the show. It's Thank nice you to very have much. you here. And right. once again, a reminder as we get started, this is a live show. It is a call-in show, and so we'd love to have you join us. Uh, you can call us at the number that you see on the screen. You can always email your questions, for those of us who understand the technology, yeah. at the address that you see on your screen. Uh, obviously, when we talk about gadgets, David, uh, a lot of it has to do with technology and advances yeah. in technology and how things have changed. We're going to see a wide range of things tonight, but of course, electronics and communications and computers is sort of the starting point for almost yeah. everything. Well, this is where it's at right now, and I'll tell you right now, I'm more of a uh, lifestyle expert than I am a techie or a gadget person, mm -hmm. so I don't know a lot about the workings of these products, but technology is where it's at, but we also have a wide range of great gifts here, and some of them are very, very low-tech that you're going to see too uh, yeah, that are really cool that's and that's absolutely true my and, favorites. and some that that have the most impact on what we do every day and absolutely. we all like to think that it's the ipad ipod iphone yeah. all that kind of stuff well let's start here and what we'll do is sort of the order of the night is we'll sort of work our way around the table yeah. we'll just sort of briefly introduce a lot of the uh, the gadgets that are here and then we'll come back and give them a little bit more thorough explanation and that way it'll give you a chance to see at home the kinds of things that we're talking about and if you have questions as we go along Get your questions ready, call in, and we're going to revisit all of these and answer your questions as they come up. Uh, so, David, let's start with, you know, the gadgets in front of us. Uh, we have an iPod, an iPad, an iPad mini. All, all the Apple products. Yeah. Now, you know, there's a lot, a lot of uh, other kinds of uh, copies and ripoffs of Apples, but Apple are still number one, and everybody tries to be Apple. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why. These uh, are amazing. This is the new iPad. Um, this and is this, the three. This is the three, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the brand new iPad Mini, and we'll talk a little bit about the difference and why this one is so cool. And then this is the um, the new iPod mm -hmm. Touch. Now it's basically the same thing as an iPhone, except there's no phone. There's no phone. So we're going to talk about why in the world would anybody want it without the phone? Sure. But I think there's a good reason. Yeah, if you have young kids and teenagers, I think I can understand. Ding, why. ding, ding! Right there. Yeah, all right. Okay, and then we have here, which is a um, a alarm clock, basically that oh. also works as a charger for your iPad. Okay. Great stuff, and you can stream your music on your iPhone or your iPad while you're charging at night. Set alarms, do everything with this. Mm -hmm. Really cool product. A lot more to talk about there. Okay. We'll and then other that. types of chargers. This one is a for cool one. Car. Yeah, we're going to want to. Talk talk about yeah. that too. You and can I'll see the you. little USB ports in here. So. Yeah, if you want to charge your phone in your car, this, especially if you're traveling, there is two USB ports, so uh -huh. for two of you, and I know I use my GPS on my phone now, mm -hmm. so that eats up my battery. Oh yeah. So I just had that plugged in the whole time. It saved me on my trip to South Bend this Did it? tonight. Yes, yeah, so oh, I had right. my so GPS. Charge it right up. And then if you travel a lot, especially on a plane, this is just a battery pack. So it can will always keep your laptop, your iPhones, your iPads, whatever, charged. And and how you. often you for those of us who travel are we always looking for where's the nearest outlet? Exactly. And you don't have to sit and be, you know, sit by the outlet and wait for it to charge. You mm -hmm. take this with you, throw it in your purse, in your bag, whatever, and take and charge while now, you're on the Now and again we're gonna come back to these, but is that rechargeable or does that have batteries in it. This is rechargeable, but you don't have to plug it into the wall. You just plug it right into your laptop. So oh, okay. it kind of like, you know, feeds One off the laptop. One charges this, this charges that. Charges it back, exactly. It. Okay, stuff. we're going to come back to all these things. Okay. Over here, you know, we have an old-fashioned gadget called a hammer. Yeah, But hammer. that's not that's not something that uh, we're suggesting as a new gadget. No, no, but we'll be using it to demonstrate one of the products. First, we have what's called the Card Ninja. And this is great because, you know, we, you always have to carry, women have to carry a purse, guys have to carry your wallet, your keys, your money when you go out, your mm -hmm. phone. You have all the stuff in your pockets are full. Well, this Card Ninja is just a little thing that sticks onto the back of, of your, your phone, phone mm -hmm. right? And you could stick in just the necessities, a credit card, your license, a little bit of money. You could stick a key in there. And if you're going out just to the gym, to go to one store, go out to eat, you don't need to bring anything else. Yeah. Really cool stuff. Right. And then on the front, we have what's called the, this bodyguards, this pure screen protector. And you can't really tell. It's very thin, very That's lightweight. tempered glass? It's tempered glass, okay? So it's a glass covering 
on my iPod, but um, should I, I won't give away. No, no, we'll, we'll still come back to that. But we'll talk about what's amazing. so special about this mm -hmm. glass is it's, it's amazing. Everybody's going to, everybody who has an iPhone is going to want one. Let's just say that the scissors and the hammer have something to do with the demonstration. Exactly, exactly. All right. Okay, over here we have Contigo. Now, Contigo, Contigo makes water bottles and coffee mugs and blah, blah, blah. But, you well, know, let, let, let me start with a preamble story here. And that yes. is the other day I told you I was on my way. I, I uh, got in the car, uh, had my coffee cup. I got it about here, and the whole thing went All right down the front you. of me. So yes. I had to turn around, go back home, change clothes, the whole thing. And I've done that a number of times. How many times can you say a water bottle changed my life? <laughs> when I first got my first Contigo bottle mm -hmm. and, my, and my coffee mug, it mm -hmm. changed my life. They're the best things. We're going to demonstrate them. It's because of their auto seal technology. You will never, ever spill again. Mm -hmm. You can use it with one hand. I'll demonstrate it later. All right. Best water bottles you ever have. Yeah, I was pretty amazed by this. This is low tech stuff, but it's very, low tech, very, but actually it's pretty high tech the way it's engineered and, uh -huh. and made, actually. Right. But it very cool. It looks low tech. Yeah, that's, that's the, the that's the old example of if you build a better, better mousetrap, right? And, exactly. And it's kind of it. So exactly. You don't see the technology on these, yeah. but it's really cool. Yep. Um, this here are some uh, products from Blue Ant Wireless. Blue Ant is a leader in um, uh, Bluetooth technology, uh -huh. um, and they have a couple of things. This is called their ribbon. The ribbon is just a little thing that looks like a ribbon here uh -huh. that um, hooks to your clothes and it turns your phone, you, uh, Bluetooth through your phone. So you can leave your phone in your pocket and answer calls, listen to music and blah, 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 uh, through your headsets and never have to pull your phone out of your pocket. Hmm. Um, then they make the Embrace, the, the most comfortable, oh wait, to have you try yeah, them on, the it. most comfortable, beautiful um, headphones you'll ever have on and they're incredible quality mm -hmm. um, and then they also have the commute which is great this is for uh, wireless um, travel so you can while you're traveling you'll never have to pick up your phone to text you know how dangerous that is oh, yeah. to make a call you can answer emails uh, receive calls and know he's receiving all wireless all just through talking by this. talking to it. yeah it looks like a little like a uh, garage door so it's sort of voice to text kind of thing exactly if you have if you have Siri or if you have Google Voice, mm -hmm. you can use this. It'll talk right to your phone, and you'll never have to pick it up. It just hooks onto your visor like a, uh, like a garage door opener. Huh. I love cool. it. All right, so more explanation coming on there. Yes. Again, back into the high tech. High tech. Now, this is for the wine uh, lovers and the sommeliers. Yes. Anybody who has, is a wine lover and you want to get them a gift, this is great. Now, Hire is the um, the largest manufacturer of appliances in the world. It's mm -hmm. H-A-I-E-R. And one of the things they make, they make 14 different kinds of wine cellars here. And this is the smallest one. It's a countertop wine cooler. So you put your, uh, your white wine or your champagne in here. You can set it at the perfect temperature um, and if we had it plugged in which we don't have uh, charge though it's so quiet you can't even hear it you never even know it's on it has a special light great stuff for the wine you know who wants to put wine in their fridge it falls over it sure. rolls out you know right great and, stuff and some wines aren't necessarily supposed to be iced so yes. you can put them in an ice bucket but sometimes wine gets get too, cold. too cold yeah this sets it at the perfect temperature you can set it whatever temperature you want 55 is ideal for white wine mm -hmm. so you can set it takes it up that. a lot less space than some of the other ones exactly and all right this is the smallest one you have very good here this. we have looks like some dangerous things careful here. those blades are sharp I know. that's what happened to me i had a little boo-boo earlier <laughs> yes. today and i was born uh -huh. uh, this is the ninja mega kitchen system now you probably have seen ninja products they make lots of blenders mm -hmm. this is the last countertop appliance you will ever need it's mm -hmm. a blender you you sound like Ron Popeil. I do, I do. I, I want to do, that's what I want to Makes do. Makes thousands of julienne fries in just seconds. Right? An infomercial. I would love it. Mounds and mounds of julienne fries. Now this, um, so this is a, uh, has everything. You could see this uh, blade technology and we'll uh -huh. talk about that and why that's so incredible. It is a blender. It is a food processor. It makes dough in 30 seconds. It makes smoothies. It's the best thing and it's really, really powerful. And if it, uh, if it does that well, then the people who make it are going to be making lots of dough. Exactly. And right. this, I won't tell you what they are right Right now, but this is what makes it really special to me. Okay. And I'll explain what these the are. The secret ingredients. The secret, more or less. yes. All right. We'll talk We're about gonna that. work our way back down to the other end of the table. Once again, a reminder as we go strolling here yeah. uh, that we'd love to have your phone calls and questions on any of these things. We're gonna hit a couple more uh, products and then kind of work our way uh, down once again. But you can call us at the number that you see on the screen or also email your questions about any of these products. And you don't work for uh, like QVC or anything like that, right? No, no. I, I've, all, I've always imagined one morning they're going to call me and say, come, <laughs> maybe after this show. I, feel like, I feel like the, uh, the QVC That's host what here. I feel like here. So this is what Canvas Photo Wraps. Yeah, this is from Uframe. This is a new product on the market, and I love this. It's more, going back to arts and crafts, talking about mm -hmm. low tech. You could take any picture that you have and... If you're really quick, in about three minutes, you can make it into a work of art. This is a picture of me that I've printed on 
canvas and made into a piece of art. And, and for that one, we really need to get a tight close-up because you can actually see the grain in the in the canvas. Yeah, it looks like canvas. It looks like a painting. The quality is so great, though. I mean, it does. It, it looks like somebody actually painted that. Yeah, and you do it at home. You know, you could send away for these online. You mm -hmm. can, like, send pictures in and have them create a, pic a canvas photo and frame mm -hmm. it. It costs a lot of money, and you have to wait several weeks. You can mm -hmm. buy this at the store, make it at home. And, and it's actually canvas-type paper that you put yeah, in your color yeah, printer? Is. I can't show you this because I have a surprise for you. Oh, right? okay. But it is actually canvas paper. All right. Okay, and, and then these here, are groovy looking watches from the 70s. Yeah, they're, they are fun, aren't they? But um, well, actually what they are, they, they do work as a watch, but they're also an activity monitor. Ah. Kind of like a pedometer, except mm -hmm. you wear it on your wrist mm -hmm. and it measures all of your movement, not just your walking strides, if you move your arms, your legs, and blah, blah. See, uh, this was originally created to help um, combat child obesity problems and okay. child diabetes. Okay. And a mother created this, mm -hmm. and her husband is the CEO, and they and they do this, and, and they sell these now. They're great. Great. And you have, they have move challenges. You have to get a certain amount of moves in a day, a week. Um, you can monitor. The greatest thing is that these, the, this part, the monitor, comes off, plugs Ooh. right into your um, laptop or your computer, uh -huh. right? And you can monitor every, all of your movement. So you, it gives you a little spreadsheet, how much you moved, how many calories burning, all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. um, you know, throughout the day. And then you can compare and contrast and who won in the family. You can Does do it do things like uh, heart rate or anything like that? Or um, is this it strictly is, about activity? This is strictly about activity. This is basic. And it's basically for the whole family, for okay. a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk more about how it works. All right. Very good. Later. Well, we've circulated back to where we started. So oh, we're going to come back to... one more thing, oh, too. Okay. okay. But we'll talk about later. And it's completely free. It's how to learn a language completely for free. You don't have really? to take a class. You don't have to pay for a class. You don't have to pay for those CDs, those big boxes you pay hundreds of dollars for. Uh -huh. It's completely free. It's called Mango Languages, and I'll tell you how you can Mango you can Languages. Mango is it a languages. product, or is it something that you go online or whatever? It is online. You get it through your local library. Okay. So we'll talk about how you can All do right. that. I like that. Mango Languages. Mm -hmm. All right, once again, that reminder, if you've got questions about any of the products that you've seen so far, this was just the introductory tour. Exactly. Give us a call at the, uh, the number you see on your screen. Email us, and uh, we'd be happy to take your question, get them on the air. And just like the QVC host, we'll try to explain more, yeah, right? As much as I can explain. <laughs> you know, because Apple technology is like totally beyond me. Yeah. I, it, all I know is that they're fun. Well, yes. And, yeah. and actually, I think for most people, you know, you, you either really totally know it and you're really into it mm -hmm. and you want to know the technical details, or you just need to know, okay, so if I'm considering this for a gift for someone, or maybe for myself, exactly. how does it work? What's the advantage? And, and I can tell you right now, uh, if I pick up the iPad, th I do have an iPad, uh, and, and which I like one do you have? I like the regular size. Yeah, uh, it's a mine's a two. Two. I have a two also. But I like the iPad, the regular iPad for me because I'm an old guy, yeah. and so I have to put my glasses on <laughs> to see everything else. I heard you have a special pair of glasses <laughs> that have little lights on the side. I do, I do. LED oh, lights. I was hoping yes. you'd wear them. Uh, I should. I do. They're you know my other gadget, but <laughs> but for this, this is what I need to be able to to see the screen. When I, I do have an iPhone. But when I pick it up, I, I really don't try to read. Oh yeah, emails try reading and your like email on the iPhone. I can't forget do it. it. I yeah. have to always keep making it larger. You know, right. you can read five words at a time. But aside from all the great technology that's in here, and there are zillions of apps that we can talk about, and all that kind of stuff, and new advantages of the three over the two, and so on and so yeah. forth. For me, the the biggest advantage is I can actually see the screen. And that's why I love my iPad so much. And it's yeah. still slender and light enough that I can carry it around. And this new iPad, I'm telling you that you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. Just the, the retina display, it's just yeah. beautiful. It's mm -hmm. so clear and so precise. Right. It really is unbelievable. I have the 2.2. You know, about six months ago, I finally gave in and got rid of my smartphone and got an iPhone. And I was really, really resistant to it. And then I... I feel like I drank the Kool-Aid. I went out and got an iPad. I have the iPhone. I'm getting yeah. a MacBook Pro now. It, they're so user-friendly, so easy. It mm -hmm. seems overwhelming with all this stuff, but once you get to know it, sure. there's so much fun. Now, so in easy fairness to, to the Droid camp, I, I do want to say that, I mean, there are a lot of people who love the Droid technology yeah. and the other tablets. There are a lot of uh, other makers. And that there's are, a lot of good good competitors. Great competitors, and that's the, the that's what makes us better is, is the, the competition. So it's not a commercial for Apple. Uh, it's just they happen to be the industry leader. But, you know, again, if you're considering a gift for somebody and you want to take a look at something like this, then other tablet uh, technology might be worth looking at as well. But I think a lot of it comes down to the, you know, the, the technology mm -hmm. that's there, the advantages, and the size, the different screens. Yeah. So. Now, the, this is the new okay. iPad mini that just came out. Now, the iPad start, the iPad 3 starts at $499 mm -hmm. and up, up, according to how much, you know, you want, how the bells and whistles you want on right. there. Well, and, you know, and while you're on that, before we leave that topic, I mean, some people may want to know, uh, okay, I, I like my, I want my iPad, I want it to do this and this and this and this, but look, I'm, I'm really not going to download a bunch of movies like my kids do. Yeah. 
you know, whatever it might be. So how much, meg, how many gigs, you know, what size memory do you need? Are, is the 499 good enough? Do you need to go higher than like that? Like you said, it depends on what you have. The 499 is the basic with about 16 uh, megabytes. And I would say that I, that's what I have on my iPad too, because I don't download movies because mm -hmm. I don't need to watch them on my iPad. I have a TV, you know, I don't download games, you know, that uh, lots, lots of games that I'm going to be mm -hmm. playing. I use it for the basics. I use it for my email and, you know, scanning the internet. So like 16 that. gigs would be fine for that. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, then they go up anywhere near and then know, it goes up. Yeah. 32, 32 64. And then of course it gets more expensive too. If you want, you, all of them have Wi-Fi. So if you're around Wi-Fi, you can hook into it. Mm -hmm. But if you want the 4G technology and to be able to get on Wi-Fi wherever you are, it's get on the internet. Cell phone technology, basically. Exactly, cell phone. Then you have to pay extra, and right. then that, then you add even more because you have to pay a monthly fee, just like your cell phone, right. to have access to that. And so. I will tell you that that's why I like the two better than the one. And I waited, you know, for the yeah. two to come out, and the three didn't force me to say I got to get rid of my two. But I, I wanted the technology so that I could have 3G, 4G, whatever cell phone, so that wherever I go. I can get yeah, the internet. I can yeah, because of my job requires that I, you know, I need to have that a lot. Yeah. And the nice thing about Apple II is every time they come out with something new, if you want to get the one prior, like I got bought the two right after the three came out because it was cheaper. Uh, yeah. You know, and I didn't need all the bells hey, and prices, whistles on that. So prices are different. Absolutely. Now, and, this uh, is the new thing. This is a new one. It's less than half the size. It mm -hmm. weighs less than half. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool. It does everything that the iPad does. Right. It's that, like I said, this starts at 499. This is 329. Okay. So you know.